Why y'all keep doing that? You are the reason. It's good to see you laugh. Even better to see you smile. Please How long has it been since mind. you've done that? And I don't mean faking it until you make it. You know you're not alone, right? The strongest people in the world are the ones who hide their hurt and their pain behind a laugh or a smile. But I want you to know it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay to feel like you don't have it all together. Just as long as you don't believe it. You see, I can't promise you that everything's gonna work out the way you want it to. But I can't promise you it's not a bad life. It's just in a bad season. Keep going. You got this. I think about the girl I was with you a lot. And find myself thinking that I never want to meet her again. Not because she wasn't kind or loving, because we both know her love fell down on you like rain droplets. Even on days you tried to stay dry. But because when she needed the same love herself, she often found herself in a drought. Her identity became a chameleon, changing colors to reflect whatever mood, blending into your life just to stay a part of it. She rarely felt good enough, even though she was enough and more, and the minimum is what she allowed herself to beg for. I never want to meet that girl again. I cannot imagine another day where I do not strive for the absolute maximum of what I deserve. Why do women try to change men? Believe it or not, when I connect privately with people, one of the most often asked questions and things I hear is, why won't he change? Or why does she want me to change? So why do women want guys to change? Now listen, before I answer this, I understand it's a give and take with relationships. Both parties have to be respectful and project love and kindness. But again, there is a common theme out there that in some point in a relationship, the woman does want the guy to change. Why? Well, let's talk about that, guys. What do you do when you first meet that girl, that woman? You do everything you can do to sweep her off her feet. You cater to her needs, you're polite, you open doors, you buy her gifts, you say every single thing that is absolutely perfect and right. And then when you get her and you've got her and she's yours and the relationship becomes a habit, you can let that facade go and you turn back into your true narcissistic male dominant self and you do vulgar things, you belittle and you demean. And then your wife says to you, why can't you treat me with love? Why can't you talk nicely to me? Why can't you treat me the way you used to? And you know what you do? You get defensive and yell and argue to protect your broken emotions and feelings. But it was you in the beginning who created this facade you created this version of you that does not exist, or maybe it is a version of you that you want to exist, but either way, you let it go. You got comfortable, and you think she's your property now, and she's not. And for the ladies out there, if you're in a relationship like this, it's time for you to give your man that ultimatum. Change, or you're going to change who your guy is. And for you guys out there, if you really want a good relationship with a woman who loves you and will always be there with you, then be honest from the beginning because that way you'll find the right person for you. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I'll see you very soon. You're crazy if you think I'm leaving you after I saw your insecurities and your flaws that you rarely show to anyone and you saw a side of me that no one's seen in years. There's nothing I would change about you. You're not perfect because no one is, but you're pretty dang close and you're everything I ever needed and more in someone so for that I want to say thank you you bring out a side of me that I thought was lost and gone and you're the only person who's been able to bring it out in me since so it doesn't matter what other people think about you or us the only thing that matters and that you should know is that I'm here for you always I know that I said I wasn't gonna post any content for a few days, and I'm not going to. But today, I saw a video that made me very emotional, very 
emotional. I felt exactly what you were feeling. And you know who you are. I consider you to be a dear friend of mine. You're amazing, beautiful, intelligent, and you are a go-getter. And I love that about you. But after watching that, I knew I had to post something today. I needed to post a message for you all, everyone in this world, because I feel we all need to hear this today, here, now. What I want all of you to go do, all of you, is I want you to go stand in front of a mirror. Doesn't matter the size, dirty, clean or not, Go stand in front of that mirror and look at yourself. I want you all to think about where you started, to where you are now here today, how far you have come in this life, your challenges, your hurt, your pain. I want you to think about that. And then I want you to tell yourself that you did it. You did it because you are here today and you are beautiful. You are all amazing. You are all worth it. You all deserve the world. Don't forget to love yourself today. Don't forget to spoil you. This life isn't easy. It's not supposed to be. It builds character. And from what I see in all of you, I think you are all amazing. And I love each and every single one of you. If you ever need someone, I will be there. Near or far, I am there. There is someone for everyone. Call me. Text me. Message me. I will be there. I love you all. Have a great day. See you soon. If you're seeing this, then it's for you. Stop worrying. Stop worrying about the past. You can't change it, but you can come to terms and be at peace with it. Stop worrying about the future. It hasn't happened yet. Practice being more present in the moment and controlling your thoughts to more positive, high vibrational thoughts. When you do that, your whole world will change. And I'm living proof. Just a different mindset can help you in many ways that you never thought could be possible. Affirmations work, yes they do, but they work when you're aligned with it. That's the only way it works. You don't need crystals, you don't need tarot cards, you don't need incense, you don't need none of that stuff. When you look for outside sources, that's when you are out of alignment with <laughs> everything that you're asking for. And it's not funny because I'm serious. I'm talking to you, yes you. And also myself, because sometimes I do still need to hear it. When you look for anything with, that's not within you, you will be on the wrong path. Anytime you got a woman that have had a heart broke, there's a way to approach it. You got to approach it gently. Do you understand? Yes. You're going to spend a lot of time, so hear me good, a lot of time reassuring her that she is okay. And if you ain't up for the challenge, don't go your ass up in there. It is a constant challenge trying to reassure a woman that she's going to be okay. It's a constant challenge trying to let her know that she is loved. Because when she'd have been hurt by a fool, she's always going to be looking for you to do the same damn thing. And sometimes you're walking in and do something and you'd have stepped on a landmine and you don't even know it. You got to always be careful of landmines, son. That's why you have to find out everything you can about what the last man done did. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Yeah. Find out what the last man done did. People are like, oh, I don't want to know about the last relationship. Yes, the hell you do. The reason you won't know about the last man relationship, so you will know when you have stepped on something he did. It'll be something just innocent, and she'll start thinking, oh, well, he did that, you're going to do it too. Find out what the hell he did so you can be all right in the relationship, son. She'll be all right, but approach it gently.